Hi, welcome to Simple or Not Kitchen. My name is Melissa St. Ode, and today we are coloring Easter eggs, and we have a super simple technique for getting this beautiful speckled look. This method is super simple, super easy, a little bit less messy than your traditional egg dyeing techniques, and it just uses a few ingredients. We're going to start off with our hard boiled eggs. I just have regular white eggs. They've already been boiled and cooled. And then we're also going to need some rice. You need um, just a little bit of rice, enough to fill maybe half of a baggie. And then we have some liquid food coloring. I have three different colors. And then as well, we're going to be using some Ziploc bags. And that's it, that's all you need. And of course, the rice that we're using is plain, uncooked rice. Um, you don't want to use cooked rice. You want to make sure that it's not cooked. And um, so we're going to go ahead and pour that into a clear plastic bag. And then we're going to choose our food coloring. You probably could do this in a paper bag as well. But with a plastic bag, you can sort of see what you're doing. But anyway, we are going to fill our plastic bag about halfway filled with our rice. And then we're going to take whatever food coloring we're starting with. I'm going to use the pink for this one and we're just going to squirt just a few drops into the rice and then we are going to shake it up and all of that rice is, become, is going to become this vibrant beautiful color. And this couldn't be any easier. We're going to take our egg. Of course, our eggs are already boiled and cooled. And we're going to just drop it right into that colored rice and we're going to shake a little bit. And that's all it takes. You do want to be careful when you're pulling them out. Uh, they will be a little bit wet and you want to just let it dry for just a little bit and then it's done. So now we're on to our next color and going to add a little bit of rice to our bag and then we are going to add our food coloring. I love this blue and of course you can mix the colors as well to get different um, different colors, all the different colors of the rainbow. I just had these three different ones. I wish I had a yellow on hand when I was doing this because I think that would have made just such a beautiful egg. But in goes our egg into the blue and this one comes out super pretty. That blue just looks so beautiful on this egg and these eggs come out just so beautiful and it's you know hard to get this speckled appearance with just your regular dyeing technique so this adds just a special special bit of color and speckledness to your Easter eggs And you may have noticed that um, my fingers did get a little bit dyed from the food coloring, and that's okay. It washes right off your fingers. You might want to use old clothing or an apron while doing this, just to protect your clothes. And look at how beautiful! Aren't those the most beautiful Easter eggs? And you may have noticed we have all this leftover rice that's been beautifully colored. We're not going to let that go to waste. Of course, we can do so many crafting projects with it, or we can just simply use it in a candle. So many uses for that beautiful rice. If you give this technique a try, let me know how it turned out. I'd really love to hear from you. And as always, thank you so much for watching Simple or Not Kitchen. You'll find more recipes, articles, and video at PinellCentral.com.